One developer boosted his app revenue by 50% in a single month, from $800 to $1,200 with one simple pricing tweak. Here's how he did it and how you can apply the same strategy. When it comes to pricing your app, it can be tricky to decide on the best pricing model and structure. After all, you don't wanna be leaving money on the table. Choose the wrong pricing model and people just won't purchase. Undercharge and you might end up spending more on hosting and API calls than the app even generates. It's a tricky balancing act to get right. My app portfolio has generated nearly a million dollars in app sales, with most of that revenue occurring in the past 12 months. And it's all thanks to discovering a pricing model that supercharged my revenue. A weekly subscription with a free trial paired with an annual subscription with no free trial. It sounds simple, but it kind of just works. When I added this strategy, my revenue went from $10,000 a month to $70,000 a month. But at the time, I got a lot of backlash in my YouTube comments. Eight bucks is wild. That's more than Netflix. Is someone really getting more value out of this app than a streaming service? A weekly subscription for this app feels like a scam. It feels like the developer is hoping most users won't notice it's weekly instead of monthly as most subscriptions are. The surprising thing, the backlash actually comes from developers. But as it turns out, users actually prefer a weekly subscription. Check out my App Store Connect report for trial activations in 2024. Guess when I added the weekly option? Yep, and you guessed it, June. Before June, my apps were averaging around about 1,500 trial activations. Then in June, it doubled. July, 4,800. August, 4,800 again. September, 4,900. Weekly subscriptions just work. But X Mario apps on X recently took weekly to a new level. Instead of pairing it with an annual subscription, he paired it with an unlimited lifetime offer. Earlier this month, I increased the weekly prices and replaced the yearly price with higher lifetime. The result, my revenue for this app increased significantly. Maybe I can achieve $1,200 this month compared to $800 last month. That's a 50% increase in revenue in a month. Think about this for a minute. If you went to an investment banker and asked to increase your money by 50% in a month, you would be laughed out of the building. Ha 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 ha, look at this fool. Doesn't he realize a moderate risk bond investment will generate 5% return on investment per year? Who does he think he is? Sir, we are app developers. But the real danger isn't the weekly pricing, it's actually offering the unlimited plans. And you're probably asking yourself, but if I give away an unlimited lifetime offer, what if the price of API access and hosting ends up costing me more? It's enough to send me bankrupt. Before you jump into giving away everything for free in an unlimited plan, you first need to look at your app's use case. How often will it be used and how much does it cost to operate? If you're generating AI video and it costs like $10 per video to be generated, you're gonna have a bad time offering unlimited video generations. Don't do that. And if your app needs a lot of compute power from external server, it's gonna burn a hole in your server and your pocket. Instead, reconsider how your app works and optimize as much of the processing on device as you possibly can. For my app, Auto Caption Studio, I spent extra time developing the video rendering so it would occur 100% within the app. No backend server, no API calls. The result, the user's device handles all the heavy lifting. Yes, the phone gets hot. Yes, it drains the battery a little, but it costs me nothing for the user to generate as many videos as they like. AI gets a little bit trickier. It's hard to guess how much it's gonna cost you before you actually release your app. I get a lot of people contacting me concerned that the AI costs will just run too high. And my answer, the cost of AI is actually quite cheap. And that cost is getting lower with every new model released. This month, my OpenAI bill was $23.24. That's from 34,000 total requests. A year ago, that was $45.13 from 8,200 total requests. And this is across all of my apps in my portfolio that rely on OpenAI, including all of my AI identifier apps. Most people only use the app a handful of times a week at most. Sure, maybe when they first download the app and they first subscribe, they're scanning everything they can think of. But after a while, it just goes to a normal use case. Your concern that offering unlimited access will end up costing you more is actually not as much of an issue as you think. 
not for the right use case anyway. It's just far easier to sell an unlimited subscription or lifetime offer than it is to impose restrictions. Sign up for our lifetime offer, but you can only use it for three days. Sounds a lot worse than sign up for our lifetime offer and enjoy unlimited access. But if you're concerned about someone abusing your API, do what I do, add server rate limits. 30 requests per 12 minutes works quite well for me. Rate limits are a nice safety net from abuse. But the real story here isn't about limits. It's actually how you go about offering unlimited plans to transform your revenue. And that's exactly what X Mario apps proved when he went from $800 a month to a projected $1,200 this month by adding weekly subscriptions paired with an unlimited lifetime offer while designing his app to protect his margins.